Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach the Beer Shop Inventory Management System in Java. So let's open the NetBeans ID, File, New Project, select Java, Java Application, click Next. So I am going to create the project name as Beer Shop. If it is checked, create main class, we we'll uncheck it, click Finish. Okay, your project has been created successfully. Select source package, select default package, right click, new, DF frame form. Okay, I'm going to create the class name as beer shop. Hit finish button. Now your application has been created successfully. Now you have to increase the application a little bit bigger. Now I'm what I'm going to do, so I'm going to drag the label. This label I'm going to name it as Beer shop. Select this one again. Right click properties. Uh, font I'm, I'm going to change just with bold 24 uh, or 36. It's enough. Perfect. After that, I'm going to drag one group box. Uh, that's one how to get the group boxes you can you have to drag the uh, panel so it's a panel you have to drag it drag the panel this panel white I have a right panel right click properties border you get the group box title border Title I'm going to give as beer shop. You have to increase the font a little bit, you have to increase the font a little bit like this. That's it. Here you can get the group box like this, right? Simple. If you want to change the font size style, you can able to font family, you can change whatever you need. Trojan Pro, which is beautiful. But you have to increase the font a little bit, right? Perfect. Right. This is a font. Let's change the color, uh, Color the foreground color, I'm going to change it as a red. Perfect. Right. Now here this one, inside the group box, I'm going to drag the labels. Uh, it's a group box. Where's the check boxes? So check box, I'm going to name it as a, a Kingfisher. It with enough perfect right think right control C to copy control V to paste below this one should be how much the one same thing control C to copy control V to paste here get another copy this one should be Kingfish, uh, Royal Challenger, Challenge. Same thing, control C, copy, control V, paste here below. This one should be Knockout. Right. Perfect. We have successfully changed the names. Perfect. Now we need a, a quantity. We need a quantity. Uh, we need one text field. So your quantity. Back first, remove this one. Select TXT. Quantity K quantity Kingfisher sorry K K G quantity you have to give the proper name of that sorry quantity spelling wrong Q T Y okay whatever name you can give the appropriate for name for that right so quantity is enough but here I have a label I'm going to this one I'm going to name it as here quantity 
can only the ECT understand the someone look at this one the system that someone here then only they understand that this is a quantity foreground color you have to make that right any other color blue right perfect the quantity you can select the beer enter the quantity right here this one you can change name it as txt king this one txt shaver whatever name you can give but the name should be give give as a appropriate name so I Like this one txt h a y sorry this is a h a y quantity and the copy can already paste below TXY Royal Control C copy can already paste here. This one should be copy paste it below. This one should be TXT KN. After that, we have to put it one table. Properties. Sorry. Right click. Table contain. You type here. Select this one as item. This one should be price, quantity, total. Select this one again. Select here. Table contain draw. Select delete. Select delete. This one select delete. Select delete. Close it. That's it. Drag the label. Total. Select this one again. Properties. This one with bold. Twenty-four. Drag one. Text field. This one I'm going to name it as TXP. Uh, select here properties font. Select this one with 18. Select edit text backspace to remove the excess text. That's it. We have done the design successfully. Right now, let's select this one. Right click properties, code generate center, source control F, UI, metal. Run it.
you can check here this is a simple design okay right now let's write the code for that we'll drag one button We have to put it here at right at first. Select here, click at will be added. So now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to make it as uh, the code, right? So select this one, right click, event action, action perform. First you have to create the model default table model m equal uh, new default model mm. okay why what's the wrong sorry only we have default model m only you have type like don't worry about that and uh, spelling something wrong Table model. Table model. Right. Spelling the problem. Right. What a crap. Default table model. You can write like this. Because this all are case sensitive. Oh, here, start with D capital, T capital, M capital. This is the object I have created as more M. Right. So here we have to add the, the codes. Instead of writing, I just paste it and run. Explain it. Right. If the user select here, first you have to start int is create the variable int sum equals zero in order to calculate the final total here if, uh, if the user select as kingfisher so here what's the name we have given this is a name you just control c to copy control face to paste it here if the user select this one is selected the the following code will be executed okay so the string what is the name it should be printed on the text uh, the Field this one king kingfish. What's the name? The king kingfisher. Kingfisher the name. The price I'm going to give us 200. Quantity. What is the quantity you are entered here? This quantity text field name. Okay, so the model, the M model. This is tape one. This is it will be printed here. What is the name here? TX table one. The table one is printed. Same. That's the thing you have to do. It's very simple. Right? When the user uh, select this one, when the user select this here, what happened? Ask to enter the quantity. If you enter, it will be added into the J table here. That's why you have created the model object it will be cast it as a default model and it printed in the row particular first row it's it's printed this one kingfish fish the name or the price and quantity and total it will be printed like this right so the same thing i just copied and paste it over here as well not else if it's all life okay you can one time you can select multiple selection so you have to put it as if if you have put tails, you can select only one at a time. Okay, if if, if it is selected, that particular condition only works. Others are not not going to check. Okay, right. The second one should be the this way. This one is a uh, right. This is a text we have given. What's the name here? We have to change here. You, you just observe this one. Copy this one. This is on just only change that uh, this uh, checkbox name here and uh, text name and price i'm going to do 100 and the quantity i'm going to change it as quantity this one front of seat copy but that's it okay, this one should be this one paste it over here the same thing control c to copy control v to paste below 
this one should be royal challenge royal the name the quantity price i'm going to change it as this one as a 300 that's it the same thing is just control switch copy control v to paste below only thing you have to change this one as knockout text the name you have to change copy and paste control c to copy control v to paste over here the name of the what's the name this is a edit text mean it's a text you can change change name this is a name called knock the name you have to put it here it will identify the checkbox by the name okay what's the name here over here it is identified by the name right this is a text we are you given but this is the text which you given it is passing here it's knock this one 350 this is a quantity versus quantity text field you have given you just entered over here it's knock that's it we successfully done the, all the stuff so far after that in order to calculate the final total we have to put in the uh, for loop in order to calculate the final total right this is txt bill I just give it a name as well. It is calculate the rows. If it is a total row, this it will calculate the total rows. Okay. Uh, get value at one three mean zero position one two three the third position. It will calculate display the total over here. Right. So let's execute the program and check. Let's run it. Check Kingfisher quantity 2, Royal quantity 3, parse 1, click add 1, it's working. Okay, yeah. it's working the uh, inventory management. So you can see, right? This is how we have worked with the inventory management, simple inventory management you can create and work. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.